Welcome back everyone to Pontus Fathom Hobbies. This is Season 3, Episode 6 of Twilight Imperium 3rd Edition. Today we're going to focus on the L1Z1X mine net. Uh, we've been doing this round by round uh, for all of the factions. We had a great round 5, uh, Emirates of Hakan attacking the Nala Collective, but the real focus here was the Federation of Soul, one system away from Mechatol Rex. Uh, we've got University of Joel Nala on the board. We focused on the x Kingdom last round. This round we're going to focus on the l one z one one X mine net. Uh, they're born from the remnants of a fallen Lazak empire. So they became a fusion of organic and cybernetic life and so they got a collective unconscious, a collective consciousness now. And they're using that to try to reclaim their dominion over the galaxy. Uh, so basically their idea is technology and warfare uh, to sort of re reborn them and get that strategic goal uh, back to the rule that they once had. Uh, they're sort of using tech to do that. Uh, we've got their generals on the board. We've got 1-4 BS. Uh, he's a diplomatic in the circuit of the L1-Z1X mine net using advanced algorithms to predict political trends. We've also got 2-RAM, the scientist, who's at the core of L1-Z1X's technology, and A6, the silent and deadly shadowy agent of the L1-Z1X mine net's uh, agency, spy agency. So we'll get those figures on the board. We're also playing with those custom cards that we've made. Uh, you can check those out in earlier. And you can see we've got all of our miniatures painted up uh, on the board. Yeah, we've got a paint through video for all of the fleet uh, miniature painting that we did on the board. So if you guys want to go check that out, you can um, leave your comments below. Go, go explore the channel. We've got tons of things out there. We've got everything from A Song of Ice and Fire, uh, miniature painting for that. We're doing Tainted Grail this year. Like we got a couple other seasons of Twilight Imperium, but we also have Dune Imperium, uh, Dune Gale Force 9, and a number of other games, uh, Eldritch Horror. Uh, we're playing Tainted Grail this year, so go check those out and uh, really appreciate your guys' support. Leave comments below, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Helps us to grow the channel. So, uh, first big move of the game, I think, is going to be to uh, figure out what the expansion from uh, L1 Z1X mine net's going to be. They're going to go up after the Nalu Collective as well. Uh, the, these guys are fringing on their borders. They've got a dreadnought there. So let's move these guys in across. We'll play through some of that combat in a bit. Um, we'll also continue the battle with the Hakan Emirates versus Nalu. So now Nalu Collective is fighting a two-group uh, two war. Just trying to play out some of these uh, scenarios. As you guys know, this is meant to be a multiplayer game. It's quite a bit to handle as a single player, but I just want to provide you guys with some somewhat of a simulation of how how the uh, the angles can advance in this. So thanks a lot for watching. I'm trying to find a good format for Twilight Imperium. I think it might be live stream might be the best way to do this, and we can just uh, publish that off on the Patreon. So let me get, let me know what you guys think. Meanwhile, the big move for this play is getting the um, Federation of Soul. They're going to finally move into Mechatol uh, Mechatol Prime. And, and they will um, uh, push one step closer toward victory of, of securing their uh, secret objective card, which is to command the planet. Also, we'll get out the strategy cards for the rest of the, uh, the groups, Exja uh, Kingdom, uh, the Nalu Collective, University of Jolnar as, as well. I'm, I'm assuming the Hakan Emirates will go ahead and continue fighting against the uh, Nalu Collective. This is brought to you by the books that we produce. We've got a bookstore link down below. You can check out August Mulderhauer's Genealogy of Cthulhu, uh, The Fallen Space Cephalopod, down below to Sunken Relia. Yeah. We've also got Giuseppe Balsamo's Hermeticism of Hastor. The sci-fi uh, gimmick of this one is Hastor is a forgotten dreamland of an alien world that no longer exists, but their dreams live on. Uh, Esoteric Dragon Mysteries from our podcast series. We've also got William Mitchell's Dead Sons 11 and Locksman of Quanta Sci-Fi Saga, books 1 and 2 of the Locksman Saga. Alchemy and Anthroposophy in the Dune Saga. If you guys like Frank Herbert, you're going to love this one. It's the Jungian influence anthroposophical origins inside of the Dune Saga. To deep dive into the science and the tech of this influence by Samuel Butler. We've also got Artificial Psychoanalysis of Desiring Machines. Um, are we the machines or are the machines us? Those questions and more explored in there. And then finally, the Compendium, 
Cat 2 Journals out of Lovecraft's Providence Deluxe Edition, collecting all six volumes. So go check out the bookstore below. You can also check out our Patreon for as little as a dollar. You can read some of these materials. Check out our podcast on the other channel. And on the Patreon, stay on top of our uh, Song of Ice and Fire gameplay. We've got miniature painting. We're doing um, Game of Thrones and Tainted Grail uh, this season. We've got the thing on Outpost 31 gameplay, Cthulhu Death May Die, Cthulhu Wars, and many other games for you. Dune Imperium, Dune Gale Force 9. Go check out our playlist below. Thank you for liking and subscribing and leaving a comment below. Helps to grow the channel and appreciate all of your support. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. Yeah, passing out the strategy cards here, we've got the uh, Nalu Collective with Trade. We've got the Logistics for Hakan Emirates. We've got the Federation with the Imperium card. We've got Warfare on L1NZ MindNet. So let's go into what the outcomes are. As you can see, Mechatol Rex has got the, um, the Federation. They've got three Dreadnoughts there already uh, from this round. We do see that the expansion of Exjaw Kingdom into a neighboring command and several of the Nalu Collective figures have been casualties. We've actually lost a command unit of Telsa uh, and another command unit have also fallen in the Hakan uh, Emirates War. We also have Harug, General uh, Admiral Harug has been killed as well in that space battle. Um, the Exjaw Kingdom have expanded into a, a, a neighboring kingdom and the L1Z1X Minet have taken a planet from the uh, Naulu Collective. So they've expanded their um, victory points. We'll go through and calculate the victory points for, for um, each of the factions and we'll see the results of this round. So thanks for playing along. Okay, so let's go through this one by one. I think if we see that the Federation of Soul here has gone a huge lengths to getting uh, Mechatol Rex. Um, it's probably there in the bag for them next round, but uh, let's just kind of see what the outcomes of the different factions are. Uh, Hakan Emirates, as I mentioned, there was a huge space battle there. Some some of the leadership cards were lost on both sides. Uh, for Exja, they've expanded to that neighboring system. And for L1Z1X MyNet, they've actually taken a planet uh, that used to belong to the Nalu Collective. It now belongs to L1Z1X MyNet. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for round number six. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in round number seven. Bye-bye.